I'm in front of a town with awesome music because it's just me. Hello there, everybody. This is See What the Plant One here, and welcome back to Fabul. I mean, Final Fantasy IV. Anyway, we did get the Crystal of Darkness in the last episode in the sealed cave, but Golbez screwed over our plants once again, and now Kane is back under Golbez's control. But hey, at least we're over here in the overworld now, thanks to Sid, once again. So, that is good. <laughs> so, that is all very good and fun, but dang it, Golbez has the crystal now. What are we gonna do? What are we to do? Well, I'll tell you what we're gonna do. Side quests, because side quests are things. They're very fantastic things, and where the heck am I going? Because... I need to find this place where I'm supposed to go, and... Oh, wait, wait. I think I know where to go, actually. Uh... In order to get up to one of the towers, because... The side, quest, the side quest... Will begin at the left tower, I believe. And Yeah, it is the left tower. So... Remember when I said that we couldn't do anything about Yang's condition? Well, we can. With the help of his wife. Yang? He's underground? Oh, so that's where he is. Oh, these onions. They're making my eyes water. It's always the onions. He shouldn't be miserable like that. Please, give him a good wha Wait, what? Give him a good whack with the frying pan of love? Are you kidding me? What? How is a frying pan supposed to help? I mean, it does help if you're Peach, but... What? <laughs> Well, I guess we'll find out what that does in a little bit. <laughs> but, uh, yeah. We got the frying pan of love. What are we to do now? Well, we gotta take it back to Young at the Cave of Sylphs. But, before we go there, we actually do have a little bit of a thing to do in the overworld as well. Okay, so... We got a rat tail. You wanna know what that's used for? It's for, trust me, and, yeah, trust me, it's for a very, very side quest that you do indeed want to take care of if you care very much about swords. Trust me, you will indeed need this side quest taken care of. So go ahead and uh, get your hovercraft, if I can get it. Can I not get it? Wait, can I not get it? Because, I don't know. Oh, wait. That's just the other airship. Okay. That's fine. That's cool. And that's fine. Oh, oh wait. The hovercraft is right there. Okay. <laughs> oh, God. Uh, does a uh, thing actually have a hook attachment? Because um, I'm actually kind of curious. Does it? I know I can listen to this music all I want. Shut up. Uh, no, it doesn't. Okay. I guess that it, I guess it is just too cool. To add a hook attachment to, like, the drilling ship. Kinda wish there were one airship, but anyway. You want to take the hovercraft all the way over to that place we were just at with the shoals and stuff. Well, not that place with the shoals and stuff. I believe you want to take it over to... If I can find it, because... I don't really know this overworld map very well, and uh, I could get lost and confused, and I kinda just did. Okay. <laughs> I know I just passed by it. Trust. I, 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 I'm very good at directions. I'm very good at them. Which is why I'm getting lost. This is great. This is what. Oh, okay. So here it is. Right here. So, you want to take the hovercraft over to, I believe this is Mithril Town? Yeah, I think this is Mithril Town. And, uh, you want to take this over to Mithril Town. In order to, uh, get past these shoals. Yeah, there we go. There we go. And once you get off here, you can go in here to the Adamant Cave. So, when you're in the Adamant Cave, talk to this guy. Who are you? Go away! If you have a tail, though, that's another story. This is what the rat tails are for. You want to take one of them to this guy... And he'll give you 
the adamant ore. Or just, you know, adamant. Okay. <laughs> okay. That's fine. That's cool. That's neat. And you're probably thinking, what the heck are they used for? What the heck is an adamant going to do you any good for? Well, I'll tell you what it's good for in a few moments. Because, well, both of our side quests end in the underworld. So, yep, we have to go back to the underworld again. But, uh, if you notice right now, uh, now that Golbaz has all the crystals, we can't get anywhere near the Tower of Babel right now because it's protected by a force field. And we can't do crap about it at the moment. Because I like to, uh, enunciate the t, but, uh, whatever. Just whatever. So, uh, okay, there it is. So, going back to the underworld here, we can now take that adamant orb, or back to the, uh, guy who is trying to make such a thing. And stuff. Blacksmith Kokoro's house. And he won't be a blacksmith anymore unless we get some adamant. Well, here it is. Here it is, folks. I'm not making any more swords. What a failure, blah, blah, blah. Okay. So, let's give him this adamant. This is the adamant. Alright, and thanks. I'll make that old sword of yours better than new. And we give him the legendary sword. Or the legend... The legend sword, burp. And yeah, look at that. There's a guy who just said a moment ago, Oh, I'm not gonna make any more swords. Oh my god, it's adamant. Okay, I'm gonna make you a new sword. That's bullshit and you know it. <laughs> but uh, the sword is not gonna be uh, completed for a while. It's not like in Pokemon where you can just go out in the house and then go back in and then just talk to the guy and he'll be like, No, you can't do that. That's cheating! You can't do that! So, yeah, we're gonna have to be patient and wait until a bit later on in the adventure when we do some things involving plot. But, anywho, uh, now we have another thing to take care of, which is at the Cave of Sylphs. So, I can't land here. Wonderful. So now, we're gonna go back to the Cave of Sylphs, and we're going to run through it once again. So, see you guys in just a moment, because we've already seen this cave. Oh, wait. I didn't show off this area. This is like the area, uh, stuff that you can go into, where there's all these sorts of treasure chests that contain all sorts of fun stuff just waiting for you to grab. And I might as well show you in relation where that area is in the cave. It's actually uh, right here. In, ah, in the place where ah happens. Nope. <laughs> We're too OP for you, so screw your surprise attack. I don't need you. I don't need you. Okay, we're back here at the Sylph's house. So now let's switch over to Rydia, because she was the one that Young was trying to save. And let's go wake him up with the power of love. With the Playboy, no, frying pan. Ah, stop! Ha <laughs> ha! Kick your ass. Uh, is it time for training already? Let me sleep a little longer. Well, at least we know he's normal. Uh, Sir Cecil? Young! Sid! No. I'm so glad you're safe. The Sylphs pulled me from the jaws of death. Oh, so that's how you survive from its- oh, okay. Thanks to you, the giant gun was destroyed. I'm going with you. No, you have to sleep. The fate of the world hangs in the balance. I cannot just lie here. This isn't a place for a wounded guy like you. Who are you? I'm Edgeby Blana. I'll be a lot more useful than you would. Iblana, 
A ninja? I'm coming too! Don't be ridiculous. We'll help them. Wait, how are fairies gonna help? This person's a summoner, right? She'll be able to call us. We'll fight in your place. Pleased to meet you, Miss Sylph. And with that, we get a summon. Sylph. Fight for me. Fight me. Whatever, I don't care. <laughs> okay, so anyway, yeah, we got an optional summon out of that. We got Sylph. So, I am going to show that off, actually. Um, uh, when... Actually, I'm going to show it off right here. Because... Heh, what are you going to do? <laughs> what am I going to do? Just show it off eventually? Maybe? I don't know, I still haven't shown off Ashura yet. But, uh... Yeah, I might as well show off, like, both summons both at once, because I do want to show them off. Okay, so... Let me just show off the optional summon that we got. We're gonna show off Sylph here. So what Sylph does is that it can only be targeted on one enemy. Shame. However, Wind's Whisper, which is the attack name, will be able to not only attack the enemy, but drain its health too. Oh, and by the way, if it says like 500 something HP that, uh, is restored. It's actually a lot more, actually. So, yeah, and, uh, edge is silent. Uh, how tragic. But anyway, uh, let me show off Ashura, actually. Actually, actually, actually. Okay. And Ashura here has many different effects. Like the mad face, for example, it's protect. Uh, the womanly face is cure, I believe. And the other bold, cold, blue face whatever it is, is, uh, life. So, you can basically use that in a jam if you ever, if you have, like, a tough boss fight or something. So, that'll all be good and done whenever you feel like you're ready to do this thing. So, uh, yeah. That's pretty much all the... Wait a minute. I'm thinking, should I do this now? Because there is actually another optional thing that we can do right now, but I'm kind of worried that I might be a bit underleveled for it. <laughs> this is not an excuse to try to find it. No, I'm I'm legitimately having trouble finding the. Oh wait, there it is. Okay, so I'm gonna actually uh, check up my levels here to see if I'm good. I, you know what? Yeah, let's do it. Let's do it. I'm feeling pretty golden myself. I'm feeling so golden myself that I feel like uh, my favorite Gen 2 game of all time. <laughs> Pokemon Gen 2, but anyway. Uh, I'm going to actually save right here. But not in the place you would expect. No, I'm going to save as if it were a dungeon. Because there is yet another optional thing that we can do. So... Baron is all free now of everything. Well, if I didn't mention this before. Uh. If I didn't mention this before and I mentioned this, uh, now. Or if I already mentioned it, I apologize. But, uh, this guy, he says that he, that he hears moaning from a castle. It could be his majesty, King Baron, eh? Well, if I did show this off before and I didn't, and I probably didn't. Maybe. Is that, uh... You can actually challenge the Baron King to a thing. And you'll get a reward in the process. Which is why we didn't choose to take care of this until right now. Because, trust me, this whole thing is going to be a difficult fight, believe you me. I wasn't really sure, like, I felt ready for this fight. But, you know what? I'm gonna have a trial period. <laughs> I'm gonna have a trial period at this boss. So, let us do it, shall we? You came. Yeah, only after a certain point in the game can you actually take him on. Your Majesty, that look in your eyes is one of sadness, Cecil. Yes, it is truly me. I was murdered. 
but I became the soul of a phantom beast. The summoner from mist may call my name, but you must be tested. Okay, I have no fight. I have no idea how this fight is gonna go. This is Odin. So, Odin is one of the more popular uh, Final Fantasy things that are available and stuff. So, yeah, once you beat him, you can choose to command him. So, that is good. <laughs> I keep saying that is good, but anyway. Um, I actually did find out in uh, recent things that you can actually switch out items. Yeah. Or actually, according to a recent playthrough. And, oh, okay, good. I have a spot left. Okay. So, I'm gonna go ahead and get the Avenger onto Cecil here. And does he have it? Does he? Okay, good. So, he's berserked now. And, uh-oh. Uh-oh, that's not good. That is not good. And should I throw the thing? Yeah, what the hell? <laughs> I might as well just go for it full force. Just throw that thing to get over a thousand damage in it. Yeah, that thing. Yep. <laughs> oh, God. How the heck am I going to get past that? <laughs> yep. That. Okay, no. Okay. <laughs> that was his most deadly attack right there. Uh, the Iron Cutting Sword. At our level, pretty much right now, it's instant death. So, yeah. <laughs> I didn't really feel like I was prepared for this fight at all. Nope. I felt like I was, but nope. I wasn't. How unfortunate. This is unfortunate. But, uh... Yeah, I'm gonna have to do that fight another time, actually. Well, I was originally planning on doing this after this next thing that we're going to do. But I felt like I was overconfident, but nope. Nope. Instead, I had to freaking die at the thing. Yeah. But, uh, anyway. In plot-related matters, we now return to the- Wait, 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 hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, I actually forgot a thing, I actually forgot a thing. Oh my god, okay, how could I forget this? How could I forget this? I'm so stupid. What you want to do, what you want to do, is that after you, after you heal up Young, after you heal up Young, you want to go back to his wife, at Fabul. Trust me, you will. And, oh, there it is. Okay. So, with that in mind, I'll see you whenever I meet up with his wife. Okay, so here we are. And, let's see. Oh, oh, okay, so we had to return the frying pan to her. Sorry, I'm stuck here doing lousy housework all the time. This is all I can thank you with, but it should come in handy somehow. Oh, look at that, a meat cleaver. Don't worry about me. Tell Young to get well soon and fight for the future of the world. And that I love him. Don't worry, we'll tell him. If we have the capability in the game, but whatever. But yeah, she gave us a meat cleaver. Yeah, a meat cleaver. It's pretty much the ultimate throwing weapon for Edge. Yeah. Because it can do, like, max damage. Yeah, I just thought I... <laughs> I just thought I'd give you a little bit of a moment to have that sink in. So, apparently, Young's, w Young's wife has, like, the ultimate throwing weapon for a ninja master. And she's just been holding it in her kitchen. Once again, I'm gonna have, I'm gonna have that bit of a moment to let you, to let you get that sunk into your brain. <laughs> yep. So, we're gonna save that for a very, 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 very important thing for later, trust me. We will. And yep, you clip through the Black Mage. 
We've been waiting for you. Come to the Tower of Prayer. And here we go with this legend shit. <laughs> oh boy. I bet this isn't as quick as it is in the uh, uh, 3D versions or PSP version. Yeah. And speaking of the 3D version, uh, Final Fantasy IV was actually re-released on Steam. But it's the 3D version. And it's the uh, one that you can't change the music. I'm sorry, but if you don't have the option to change the music to its original form, I'm not going to pick up that version of the game. Like, the only version that does that perfectly is the PSP version, because you can change... You can change the music from the arranged version and the original version. I'm sorry, but the, 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 the music is just too good in the original, okay? Okay. Still gonna get the game though on Steam, not like I'll complete it anyway. Pray, everyone! Pray for the coming of the light! Rydia, you're not praying. What the hell are you doing, Rydia? They're doing the thing, do it. And Disco Lights. That must be... The legendary vessel of light. The magical ship! Well, technically it's called the Lunar Whale, but... Yeah, we can call it magical ship. Also, seize your lights. While I was praying, a voice came to me. It whispered, Come, Cecil. Come to the moon. So much to tell you. About you. Your father. A voice? My father? The light on Mount Ordeals. We must go, but how? The magical ship is a vessel to the moon! According to Mycidian archives, aside from the switch to control normal flight, there is a crystal of flight. If you speak to it, you should be able to go to the moon. I'll give it a try. But Rydia is in Cecil, so what the heck? The heck? Well, folks, the sound isn't broken, by the way. So, yeah, we now have a freaking thing that will take us to the moon. That'll be for next time on Let's Play Final Fantasy IV. See you guys on the next time. Thank you for watching, and goodbye.